Rello DMV Gaming back with another one. This time we're going to be looking at the medium build, um, which I am currently on right now. Let's go ahead and look at the equipment. I do have everything unlocked for this build as well. Uh, we are at level 25, but let's jump right into it. Uh, we're going to do this one a little differently because the heavy build is kind of filler out process. See if I can get through it. And I did get through it. So right now, these are the specializations for the medium. You got a turret right here, guardian turret. You got the healing beam, and you got the recon senses. Now this is basically a mini sentry gun. Based on wherever you're facing it is where it's going to shoot after the little, you know, it's a period of time as like it, it sets up basically. When you put it down, it has to set up, and then it'll beep and let you know it's ready and it's shooting. Uh, I played a video at the end to let you guys know that I'm not lying. Let you guys know I know what I'm talking about. So right here we have a healing beam. You could twist your gun out and pull out this gun. To sh it shoots health and your nearby teammates. Um, as long as they're within range, you could aim towards them and shoot uh, back, back their health back up. And basically, it's 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 quick. You bring back your teammate or you revive somebody and they're at half, half half health you could use the healing beam and get them back to full health and then you guys could go back and engage in battle and recon senses is basically you can see through the walls you can see the outline of the opponents that are nearby for a limited time and as they far as as if as close as they the closer they are the the more outline you see the further they are the less you will see the outline now we'll come back to that after i go over the weapons and the gadgets for the medium build so here we have a couple of guns we're gonna go over now there's a lot of people using this pistol right here so i'm gonna go over how i did it with the heavy build we have the akm the cl40 the f car the riot shield the r Three six. I was about to say the wrong number. I rounded it up like it was a something like it was only point only two decimals. It's the R three three fifty seven, and we had the model eighteen eighty seven. Now, since we're on here, we'll start here. This shotgun right here is it works wonders if you know how to use it. Maybe the first shot, maybe you can aim in, but after that, do not aim in. Just just line them up without aiming it so they catch the full I'll let you learn that uh, we have the R357 it's a, it's a revolver high damage I think it takes like three hits you get three hits maybe four good hits and it works wonders but I didn't I don't have the patience to start using that right now maybe next season I'll come back and start working on it but it's uh it's a good revolver it's it's quick four hits three four hits and you're you got to kill the riot shield on here i love it i've been using it already i apologize i keep on tapping my mic with my hand i'm, I'm actually moving my hand but i'm not recording a video or anything like that i'm just ecstatic about explaining what i'm explaining uh you have a riot shield and you have like a baton uh, I love it. You you can use your riot right shield to protect yourself, or you can run around and hit people with a baton while blocking your right side. It you still have the riot right shield in your hand at all times, but it is still you get the coverage when you're blocking fully, and also when you're just just moving. You're blocking one side movement. So I like the riot right shield. It's a good it's a good thing to use. Uh, but you have to be quick with your melee. You got to understand movement, and you got to understand like where people are going to land and things like that. You got to understand how to get people in a corner. You got to understand how to catch people's uh, movement pattern to hit them. It takes three hits. That's if your teammates aren't shooting at them, or if they haven't been shot by anybody else. If you're not third party in. So next thing we have are these two assault rifles, the AKM and we have the F car. I'm currently working on the F car right now. The F car actually has a scope. 
Uh, the AKM is kind of like the AK-47 uh, in, in layman's terms. Uh, this is a grenade launcher. I have not tried it yet. As you guys can see, these two have not really tried yet, but I am a heavy build expert. I've been just, you, I'll play these just to do the contract so I can get the XP. You feel me? That's, you gotta think like a gamer. Hello, DMV. Yeah, I'm a gamer. So let's get to the gadgets. We're on the start of the gadgets that I have used. So let's start at the bottom with the zip line. The zip line is good. It helps. It's, it helps the team. It helps travel quick distances. And you could leave it there. It'll still be there when you die and come back. It may, unless somebody breaks it, it'll still be there until somebody breaks it or I think until you use two more. So the zip line, you can go to the top of high, high build, top of high buildings. You can go across uh, gaps in the map. It's it's quick, uh, regenerates quick. So it's a perfect thing to have. The tracking dart, I have not used it. I feel like this probably is a waste. Why would I shoot you to reveal you when you could just mark where they are, or you could just use another device that you have as the light build that we'll get to when we get to the light build if you have that on the light build and also you have the recon senses but it's not it's not a game that you would want to go around just tracking people unless you had to do that for a contract uh that's what the sonar that's what it is on here i was looking is it not on here i don't see it, it is right there it's the next one okay the sonar basically it's basically the tracking dart as a grenade because throw it it uh do a pulse similar to the size of the dome on the heavy build you go check out the heavy build video uh it's like a sonar about the size of the the dome of the dome it'll just blink out a couple times like a radar and it'll just if somebody's within that within that dome they'll light up uh, I think it's useful when you're trying to go steal the cash out or if you're debating if you're going to revive your teammate, you'll throw that real quick, see if anybody's near while you're reviving them. If they pop up, you'll hear, this, hear the sound and be like, okay, we got to either make it quick or we got to go because he's close. I can see him in the rate, in the sonar or I'm going to have to leave you here, but you're going to have to wait for the timer or for the team white. Pyro grenade. I kind of went over this in the heavy. Is this is wonderful? Use it. Uh, fire in the area is better than better than goo in the area, and it's better than a regular grenade, and it's better than a flash grenade. So, this is the go-to grenade. You should use this one right here. It's gonna burn people as they're standing in the fire. It's gonna burn them, and as they get out of the fire, they still will be burning and taking damage. So this is one of my go-to's jump pad. This goes with the zip line. Once you zip line to the top of the building, if you know about your angles, and you can put a jump pad on a slanted roof, and you can jump from one side of the map to the other side of the map. Now some people don't know about angles, so they'll take the zip line up, and they'll see the jump pad, and they'll go right around, and not knowing that it's going to boost them up at an angle closer to the destination so if you know about using uh, jump pads on an angle well you can learn about it or you can just miss out on it but that's those are two things that I use a lot the zip line and the jump pad so let's get to the next one the goo grenade it's one of those ones that I really wouldn't use unless you like to run if you like to run if you like to block people away from running to get you this is something you should use. This is this is a tactical grenade. You, you you use it to get away. It's part of your tactic. You're trying to get away or you're trying to block somebody from getting to you. Use a good grenade. Not part of my tactic, but I, I had to use it, you know, some contracts. I gotta get that XP. We got a couple mines. We got a gas mine, we got a glitch trap. Haven't used the glitch trap. It disables specializations gadgets and glitches the screen so this probably would be something if you're camping or something like that you want to scare whoever's coming towards you you don't want them to use their specialization you you feel like that's an, the 
Uh, let me say it like that. <laughs> Might be some kids watching this. If you feel like you need an advantage, you can use this. If they walk that route to get to you, then they won't be able to use their specializations. They won't be able to use no gadget. It'll just be weapons, and they'll have a glitch screen. So this basically is a it's a disadvantage trap right here. It's, it is. It is what it's called. It's a trap right here. You got to trap somebody to get an advantage in the in the fire and well in open fire. I wouldn't just say in fire in open fire because you're probably going to be shooting at somebody in this game. Uh, so this will give you an advantage. They only can use their their gun. No specialization. Uh, no gadgets, and their screen will be glitching. So I haven't got around to using that. I don't think I need that much of an advantage to get a kill. So haven't used it. Gas mine, uh, gas mine and explosive mine, kind of the same thing. Uh, one, one is like a grenade. It's just gonna blow up. One actually has it blows up gas. It just it surrounds the area with gas. Uh, people are gonna be talking. I mean, taking the toxins, they're going to be coughing. So, out of those two, I will go with the the gas mine. Even if, it, if it's an explosive mine, if it's not a light, or they're already got like 50 health left, something like that, then they're not going to die. It's just going to do some damage. You're going to see you got a hit marker, and then you're, gonna, you're not going to be able to get over there. It's going to be too late. They're going to be revi uh, health regeneration by the time. So I will go with the gas. They're going to they're gonna get hit with that initial hit from the gas uh, getting triggered. The gas, uh, when it emits the toxic gas, when they first, it gets exposed to them. And then they're going to be exposed while they're standing in the gas because it covers a good amount of space. So I will go with the gas out of the two mines. Now we have gas grenades, flat frag grenade and flashbangs I rarely use a flashbang like I said I don't feel like I need that much of an advantage uh, just the flashbang you, you'll flash somebody's screen for a couple seconds uh, I'm not sure if it hits your teammates and you as well but I know you do flash your screen for a couple seconds frag grenade pretty self-explanatory you throw it it blows up after release after you pull the pin maybe like three to five seconds uh i started off using it but grew away from it i'm using my these mines now and gas grenade i like the idea of it but i i don't use the gas grenade if i if i don't catch you with the mine i don't want to throw the gas grenade because nine times out of ten it's probably going to tap you and then you, you're going to be out of it but by the time it it, it blows up and you, you get exposed all the way to it. I might hit you with the grenade. And by the time it blows up, you're gone. So I, I stay away from that. Last two things we have is the defibrillators, which I like to use. Uh, try to keep your team in the game. This is three on three on three, or it's three on three on three on three. So if you're the last one alive, you need your teammate back. This would be something you would need to have in your in your loadout your equipment that you use uh pretty self-explanatory clear is the thing that you see when they say that in the movies the hospital the little shark the shark you rub it together and then put it on the chest it come back uh it'll be like a little trophy you just walk up to the trophy uh you get up the energy you charge them and clear and your teammates come back instantly and the last thing is the APS turret is basically a trophy system it shoots down shoots down like grenades if somebody were to try to throw like a mine beside it it'll shoot it down or I'm not sure about rockets I have never used it but I've seen it being used don't recall if it blocked the rocket or not I think I shot at it <laughs> I don't remember if it <laughs> if it uh shot down the rocket but uh, that's basically all of these i actually have two uh contestants that are medium build but i'm gonna show you my class for this one i currently have the guardian turret 
AKM, zip line, jump pad, defibrillators, and the reserve is the Ryan seal, the shotgun, the model 1887, explosive mine, and the pyro grenade. Which I just said, I don't even like the explosive mine. So this, that tells you I haven't used this. I've been using the big, I've been using my uh, heavy build, but let's see what this one has. See, this one has the explosive mine too. It has a guardian turret. Basically the same thing. It has a sonar grenade in this one. It has the AKM. It's, it's just the same thing, a little bit split up. But I, if I were to use medium build, this would be my lineup to start the game right here. AKM. Yeah. Has a better mag. Has a better mag. I like the mag size compared to the F car. Like, I like this pistol. The revolver, uh, you reload fast. You just gotta get three shots, maybe four. The shotgun. Yeah, this is my this is my medium build right here. This is like my tips on it. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, I'm gonna come back and show you guys the video. Show you I know what I'm talking about. This only suits in front of you, wherever, wherever you put it. It got to load up and only shoots in front. See how I got them three lasers? You pick it up, you can put it on the ceiling, you rotate it, it shoots in that direction. So just keep that in mind. And there you go. Limited field of view. You can't see it. That's why I was telling you. So just be mindful of how you place it. And uh people are gonna shoot at it. It does do a good little it does catch people off guard, but it does take a second to load up and then it also has the limited range. Healing beam, I mentioned earlier, you just pull out a gun, your teammates in range, you give them their health back. You heal your enemies while they're while they're still in battle. If you just they break your line of sight. You can't do it no more. It doesn't go around the corner. It doesn't go through walls. And it's not going to keep them alive while, while they're in battle. It's not. You're not going to sit back and heal them the whole time while they keep on shooting. And they're still going to be like winning. Like they're not going to die at all. They're still going to. It's not going to absorb bullets and keep them alive. So just keep that in mind. It's to help add back health. It's not going to keep them alive. And the recon sense, go ahead and play it. You just want to see the thermals, basically. The wall thermals. Uh, see where they're at, how far they are. You know, only you can see it. It's, it's, your, it's your specialization. And it doesn't trigger them. They don't know that they're seen. So... That's it for this right here. This is the medium build. Uh, nothing much left to be said. Make sure you guys like. Make sure you guys subscribe. Leave a comment if I missed something, uh, which I don't think I did. Stay tuned for the next one. Uh, a whole bunch of clips coming. Uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm going to catch you guys when I catch you guys. Peace.